So, for today's discussion, I'm going to talk about recursive variable in second language acquisition. So, firstly, what is a recursive variable? A variable that exerts some influence on another dependent variable. Research experiments usually involve some manipulation of independent variable and measurement of dependent variables to investigate the relationship between different variables so there are important terms to take note firstly explicit learning that involves conscious awareness and intentions second implicit learning without attention and awareness um, input learning the process of comprehending language out is the production frequency it is the number of times of a specific word structure or other elements that draws the attention of the learners. The passive variables in second language acquisition involves the exposure of variables. Several exposure of variables have been investigated with respect to second language acquisition. Some studies show a clear relationship between the amount of exposure and proficiency and some do not. We shall see that the hypothesis that comprehensible input plus low filter are the true cause variables predicts quite well when exposure variables relate to second language acquisition and when they do not. Thus, um, exposure variables are indirect and not themselves causive. There is no variation in the acquisition process itself, but there is in the rate and the extent of acquisition as a result of amount and comprehensive input received and the strength of the effective filter. Performance grows about the extent of the learner's reliance on learned knowledge. Um, there are also three types of monitor uses on the Cursive variable in second language acquisition. These are the overusers, underuser, and optimal users. Optimal users are those who apply conscious knowledge when it is appropriate. Um, several studies have examined length of residence or the LOR in the second language environment for those studies of child second language acquisition it can be plausibly argued that lor may affect the amount of comprehensible input the child obtains this is a source of or scores not always the case in the child second language acquisition all too often children living in a country and do not comprehensible input either in or out of school. We do see in this studies a clear relationship between LOR and second language proficiency. That's all about the exposure of variables. Aside from exposure variables, there is also age. Age can affect the amount of comprehensible input that is being obtained. It also influences the affective state of a learner and also the affective filter is likely to increase in strength after puberty. Younger learner may get more than the older ones. And lastly, it, affect, it affects learning. Older learners are better in studying language form and using learned knowledge in monitoring. In 1979, Krashen Long Scarcella reviewed the available empirical research on the effect of age and second language acquisition that made them conclude that all published studies were consistent with these three generalizations. First, we have first it states that adults proceed through the early stages of second language development faster than children does. Second, older children acquire faster than the young ones. Time and exposure held constant. Third, acquires who begin natural exposure to second languages during childhood generally achieve higher second language proficiency than those that are beginning as an adult. 
Thus, it is not simply the case that younger is better. Children are superior to adults only in the long run. Acculturation. A similar argument can be made concerning Schumann's acculturation hypothesis. Schumann has hypothesized that acculturation is the major casual variable in second language acquisition. Schumann maintains that second language acquisition is just one aspect of acculturation and the degree to which the learner acculturates to the target language group will control the degree to which he acquires the target language while the acculturization hypothesis seems to account for second language acquisition data in extended sojourn situations it is easily expressible in terms of comprehensible input and lowering the filter moreover the comprehensible input hypothesis accounts for second language acquisitions in situations that acculturization does not attempt to deal with. Schumann defines two types of acculturization. In type 1 acculturization, the learner is socially integrated with the target language group and as a result, develops sufficient contact with target language speakers to enable him to acquire the target language in addition he is psychologically open to the target language such as that input to which he is exposed becomes intake type 2 acculturization has all the characteristics of type 1 but in this case the learner regards the target language speakers as a reference group whose lifestyles and values he consciously or unconsciously desires to adopt. Now, both types of acculturization are sufficient to cause acquisition of the target language. But the distinction is made to stress that social and psychological group is the essential component in acculturization as it relates to the target language that that adaptation of the lifestyle and values of the target language group with the notion of acculturization is not necessary for successful acquisition of the target language type 1 acculturization is thus weaker than type 2 in that is does not involve adaptation of the new lifestyle since schumann hypothesized that type 1 is all that necessary for successful second language acquisition. We restrict our discussion to the type of acculturization. Type 1 acculturization is easily restatable in terms of framework presented in this chapter. Social integration with resulting contact leads to comprehensible input, while the open psychological state Schumann refers to equivalent to a low filter. The evidence Schumann's present in the support of acculturization hypothesis can be similarly interpreted. Here is a sample that illustrates acculturization model of Schumann.